The Empty Bowls benefit for the tourist community shelter returns to Chico for its 20th year. Shelter director Taylor Story is here to share all the details. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. Um, yeah, so I'll just uh, say a few words about True North Housing okay. Alliance. Okay, yeah. Um, so we're best known for operating the Torres Community Shelter, but in addition to that, we also manage transitional and permanent supportive housing programs and a family uh, bridge housing program designed to keep families from falling into homelessness. Mm -hmm. um, we are moving into our 20th year this next year of operating the Torres Shelter and our 25th year as an organization. Uh, last year in 2021, uh, we served almost 700 people and we successfully rehoused 42% of that population. Wow, that's an encouraging number. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we are uh, very proud of our efforts to uh, achieve our mission of moving people forward and out of homelessness with compassion, dignity, and accountability. Donations are a critical part of the funding that helps make yes. all this happen. And this is a really wonderful community fundraiser that helps with that. Um, you brought some of the beautiful bowls that mm -hmm. are handmade ceramic bowls that kind of build the foundation for this event. Let's talk about what Empty Bowls is. Yes, absolutely. So um, Empty Bowls is our largest fundraiser and we are very excited to bring it back after a two year hiatus for its 20th year. Um, and uh, every dollar that's earned at Empty Bowls goes directly back to the Torres Shelter. Uh, the whole idea is um, about community and bringing community together. So um, local high school students and guests of the Torres Shelter hand make um, and paint each of these bowls. And so each bowl is really a functional piece of art. And so the whole idea is you come to Empty Bowls, you get to choose the bowl that speaks to you the most, and then um, have a bowl of soup with some bread for dinner. And the soup is provided by several local restaurants. Delicious soup, I might <laughs> add, as, <laughs> as, a, as a veteran of this event. Um, so yeah, fill your bowl, break bread with the mm -hmm. uh, others, whether you go alone or bring your whole family. Um, there are two seatings, right? Correct, yes. So there is a seating at 5 p.m. Well, the event takes place on Thursday, November 3rd. And the first seating is at 5 p.m., second is at 6.30, so folks can choose um, the time that works best for them. It is a good idea to get your tickets early. In the past, there have been occasions where it sells out. Mm -hmm. So uh, tickets are on sale now, pretty affordable, and again, goes for such a wonderful cause. A lot of volunteers, I know, help make this happen. It's happening at Chico High's Lincoln Center, by the way, which mm -hmm. is just a beautiful building. Uh, still new to me <laughs> as a former Panther of Chico High. Um, but, but yeah, bottom line, support the wonderful work that's going on in our community. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we're grateful for um, every single dollar earned. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, this is on November 3rd. You can get your tickets now. If you go to actionnewsnow.com under news links, we have a link to where you can buy them. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks, Linda. We appreciate it.